Okay, so the story I want to tell here is um, what I discovered when we were doing the Drive I-95 guide that we wrote, that I knew very little about Southern cooking, and I didn't realize how well they did vegetables, and I never knew the expression like a main and three, or a main and two, that expression, how many sides you would order, and now I know why people would all order the sides because they were better than the main. So we, <laughs> we, were, we found this little diner called the Somerton Diner in Somerton, South, South Carolina. Yeah. And there was this- um, and This is a page out of our book. Each book has a, a recipe. So what we do is we try and convince the owner of the recipe if we fall in love with it to give it to us. And this one took a couple of years of going back. So Catherine, She's called Cat Dingle. I don't know. She's still around. The cook who'd prepared this recipe for 25 years. Um, she only would make it on the weekends. So we had to make sure we got there on the right day because um, we fell in love with it. When, when she parted with it, I couldn't believe there was only like four things in the entire recipe. But it's a real 1950s recipe and one that people came back for for 24 years. So um, it's, it's a squash casserole. However, this being COVID time, I didn't have squash the day I made it. So the, I, I, there's sweet potatoes there, but generally it would be a butternut squash um, would be what I would use. Okay. So, it, so it's a real 1950, uh, you can see why. There's the, the, the onion soup, the package of onion soup that we know from, you made those dips in the 1950s. There's yes. the cream, then some cheddar cheese that you grate and then the, the uh, crackers to make a crumb topping. And that's it, but maybe I counted wrong. I think there's five because <laughs> of the crumb topping. So it's simple, really simple to make. So you cut up the squash, peel it, cut it, boil it. This is the hardest part of the whole recipe, <laughs> just peeling the squash. I, I grated the, um, the cheddar the cheese. cheese. You can buy it grated, of course, but I bought a nice chunk. Uh, you mash the squash. Yeah, oh, you've drained it and then you mash it. Then I've mixed here the um, the cheese and the and the squash together. Then I put in the onion soup. So you can see that little bit of brown all over the place and the piece of onion. So it's the dry soup. It's not the like dry, just the dry soup. That's your dry soup. packet. And then okay. your sour cream. So basically, you know, remember that how yummy that onion soup dip was with celery sticks. Basically, what, all we've done is added squash, um, squash to that to make it mildly healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd, I've never tried it with zucchini. I don't think I would. It, you need that sweet thickness mm. of the of the. You know, I said I I've done it now with squash and I've done it with sweet potato and it's just as good either way. Okay. Sour this cream. Is sour cream. Yeah. And that's all it looks like after you mix it all together with a spoon. You don't need a mixer. You don't need a blender. You just mix it all up and you bake it for whatever I say you bake it for. Um, and 20 minutes at 350 until I, oh yeah, I put the I don't cracker. always put the cracker crumbs on it. So you'll see it's only on a piece of it just to show you cracker crumbs. I usually don't bother with the extra carbs, <laughs> but you can do it for company. Uh, cover it and bake it. That's okay. You don't have a finished one? Okay. That's, I think that's. <laughs> that was, this, no, that this, was the finished this, one. This is the finished one, one that just we came were taking out of, the out of the oven. Yeah. Right. May we see the recipe again, please? Yes. Yeah. So, well, and it will be on the blog. Oh, okay. It'll be, I'll say I'll say if anyone just wants to write it down because it's just four things: a three-pound butternut squash, or it could be any kind of, you know, those uh, yellowy orange squashes. One and a half cups of sour cream, two and a half cups. That's about an eight-ounce chunk in a block of shredded cheddar cheese. And I, I used if you saw that, I used the. Um, uh, not the medium, the the aged, a bit of aged to give it more flavor, but you don't have to. One package of dry onion soup mix. And I didn't even use Lipton. I just used the no-name brand. A 
And that's that's it. Those are the four things. Wow. Basically, you're cooking the squash, mashing it, and mixing it all up together. So do you eat it um, uh, with an entree, or do you use it as an appetizer? I, I generally... I, I make it a lot when I have turkey or, you know, a roast oh, sort yeah. and it's a side dish. You know, it's kind of like when you would do a mashed sweet potato casserole or something like that. So I generally serve it as a side dish for company. Okay. Wow. But I like it so much that I'll just take scoops of it out for lunch and just eat it. <laughs> and so how long did you actually boil the... Oh, it says so, 20 minutes. Okay. Well, I boiled the squash until they were soft. And okay. the baking was about 20 minutes at 350. So it's very quick too. Yes. And it's often stuff you'd have at home anyway. Exactly. And, and also you can prepare it the day before, like if you have company coming and then just stick it in the oven, you know, right before they come. So you know, so you, you can get it out of the way, you know, have it ready to go. And when it's ready in the fridge, I will steal spoonfuls of it. <laughs> so here's a question. How is the squash when you add bacon? <clears throat> I imagine it would be absolutely delicious with bacon because you, you have all the basics in there. You know, you have the sweet, the cheese, the sour, and the bacon would give salty. So it would add the fourth you know, <laughs> I think it would work. No questions. Yeah. Okay. Well, remind me of that, Jack, when I make it. <clears throat> we might put bacon bits all over the top of it. Everything's better with bacon. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we have someone we know that's her blog, I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, in our travel, our, our, our travel media organization. What's, what's it? It's better, called better with bacon. Anyway, something. Ba like no, that. bacon is everywhere. Something like I don't that. Know, everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, very fun.